All right, what's up, y'all? It's Liquor Fan here. As you can see, we got a nice little comp gameplay here. Now, obviously, it doesn't look like we are a comp because we're 0 and 0. Um, I accidentally restarted the team because I thought that was the only way you could really like, truly play, but I finally found out something. I'm gonna make a video on that as well. Um, how to how to start the like search for the 3v3 pro am because honestly, it'd be tweaking out sometimes, bro. I don't know if I don't know what you guys know about it, but anyway, as you can see, this is a little bit of an older gameplay. I think it's uh. Oh, it doesn't show. I'm pretty sure it's like a day or two old. I'm a 91 overall in this vid, but I'm a 93 now. Um, so you see, we got the WST dudes. We got Rose and Greens. Um, Rose is on a 7-3 pure glass lock, basically. Um, so, already Stevie Pass, I know. <laughs> um, <laughs> this gameplay, I'm not going to exactly say what happened with it. Obviously, if I'm, if I'm uploading it, I probably won. Like, it's a 95% chance I probably won if I'm uploading a video. Um... But all I can say, bro, it was very interesting to see how these dudes approach the game. So you see, th this is what me and Kitchen be doing. Now, I'm probably going to title this video, um, like, 90% of the, like, 2K community doesn't know how to do this. Um, real quick, here, I'm sorry for, like, all the pausing and stuff. But, um, you see they switch, right? So, boom, big dudes on Kitchen. I get out of the way so they can't switch it back. Like, here, let me explain. If I'm sitting on the wing with Kitchen right here, like, if I'm up where the pro -Am logo is, boom, they're switching it back without, like, without hesitation. But that's the whole point of pick and roll is to force switches so that, A, you can either take advantage of the mismatch or, B, do this magical thing that I'd be doing right here, which is run it back and slip on the second time. That is my signature thing, bro. Like, all the way back to 2K19, um... I've been doing this and honestly I didn't really I didn't really know of it before then either I just kind of and I swear I didn't watch no tutorial no nothing nobody taught me how to do that I just kind of like thought it up by myself um, as you guys know the IQ as far as like my gameplay goes pretty pretty extensive and I'm pretty glad I learned that too because honestly bro I just I don't know I, a lot of people know about slipping right but they they when they force a switch they generally and now what this came down to at the end of the day was just that um my build wasn't really like dominant enough to like to dominate a guard down low um when i got the mismatch and then when and then also when i would try to post up a guard um because i got the mismatch i basically i don't know bro i was like i would still get double teamed off of like help defenders too so it was pretty I don't know. It's, it was pretty much just a lost cause. And not to mention, people on YouTube don't like seeing me back down a guard <laughs> all game. So, boom, what did I do? Came up with my own little my own little niche. Um, so anyway, you see Big Man, he's he's definitely faking his help. Um, he was faking help all game, bro. I, I, I think me and Kitchen realized that. <coughs> me and Kitchen realized that later in the game. But um, we were we were trying to get some passes to me because it looked pretty available. But anyway, you see nice box. Um, I should have hit Kitchen on the break right there, but I didn't want to. I didn't want to throw that Stevie like I did in the beginning. Um, so anyway, you see he's helping real high again. Now I I want to I want to show you guys this again. Now you see I almost get blocked right there, but I really hate to keep emphasizing this like and just keep. But that's kind of the whole point of this video right now. So I see how high he's playing this pick right. Normally I would slip right here, but honestly with a new game and how this how this stuff works And I'm not sure because this dude's been doing a lot of fake help You see how he you're gonna you're gonna watch and he drops back as soon as like he drops back instantly Thinking he wants to switch but you see how I get away from kitchen and force them to switch now What I would say is take like a take like a wing cut go like to the wing And if the and if the guard is still trying to follow your point guard then just cut Boom, you got the lob, easy money. That that big is not gonna be able to drop back in time. And if the big is dropping back in the time that he could get back to the paint and block you, your point guard should be open for the the, the big enough window to shoot. Like, like just imagine the uh, the big dude with the with the fro. He just backs up right now. That means he has that kitchen has enough room to shoot, easy money. But if he doesn't back up, then he doesn't have enough time to get back to me. So they have no choice but to switch here because I fan out here. Um, so now you see they're instantly going to try to switch back when I give them the chance to. So again, boom, I cut through the middle. Um, like I said, bro, it's just, it's just crazy how fast these seven threes can move without like being fast is my problem. I really hope they do like touch up on that because I mean, I'm, I'm out here still utilizing my speed to the best ability, but like, bro, you see how I'm trying to hedge. I, I might've gone out a little too far there, but bro, if I got a six, nine, with almost 80 speed and I'm guarding a 7-3 like bro 
I need to be able to do that. That's that's my biggest like beef with this game so far. But anyway, back to the back to the pick and roll. You see, I get the like massive body right there, and obviously what that creates is is like a two on one where they the big either has a choice to guard Kitchen or me, and when me and Kitchen do what we have to do properly to make that work, then obviously everything's all good. Um, this point guard was going nuts, bro. He he was hitting faders on faders on faders. It was crazy. So again, you see, I'm trying to force the mismatch, but this is the downside sometimes is that um, when you when you just sit here on the wing, sometimes they just do it anyway. And I was saying you could just do a wing cut, um, but you see, I, I definitely should have just rolled, bro. I definitely should have just rolled. Um, that was real sus. I should have known that as soon as the guard started running back because I have a small window right now and it's... Uh, and it's to run to the paint before the big dude can drop back. Um, Cause as soon as the guard gets to kitchen, that's when, that's when um, my window starts to close where the big can drop back. So now you see it. Now, bro, look at how fast he does that though. That's my beef with this game, bro. It's definitely like my disliking. It's so crazy how fast they let these seven three dudes be, bro. But anyway, um, you see, I get the nice O word right there over him too. And then Kitchen still still misses that one, but um, oh yeah, I didn't even mention we're playing with Cook in this video, who has a, a three and D player with like one badge, um, <laughs> and he's like six five, six four, I think something like that. Um, so I was struggling on the rebounds a little bit. I'm not gonna lie, but that's to be uh, that's to be addressed later in the video. <laughs> I'll just let you guys see that. So again, I, I just when I do this, I want I want like Kitchen and Cook to realize this too while i'm speaking in this video and any guard that i play with um and just you guys too because this is honestly something that you should do as well when you see your guard get like bodied like this obviously it means i have to step out like i need to jump because he's going to shoot that thing now when i do this what am i doing i'm i'm realizing that it's a it's a lost cause i'm just trying to get a reset i'm trying to make them miss make them make their big get the O board and then hopefully I can get back down there and contest him if he tries to go up with it again but if not then I just want us to like like you know I want for him to kick out and I don't want this corner three to get open now fortunately he misses but you're, you're gonna see a little later in the game there's a lot of instances where and you see I, bro, I throw another TV <laughs> oh man that's tough but um anyway long story short like I do it again and there it is prime example boom they get the corner three and he makes that one now should i do that i feel like i should i feel like i should be jumping out at that guard because if i don't he's going to make it every single time well not every single time but it's a pretty high chance that he's making that like and you see we get the nice pick and roll there boom again i want to i want to really point this out i want to really i'm so sorry for how much rewinding i'm doing in this game but there's so much good stuff to break down and like explain to you guys here I want to explain so much how how useful speed is with my build at this point i have hall of fame brick wall iron wall all that stuff and i body the guard right and kitchen gets a nice window to shoot through now bro look at look at how he has the box position on me and then look at how boom i just like snap like slide past him and not to mention like just my speed allows me to really like set a pick still have my guard shoot and still get to the board positioning so that one i don't get however and now dude's got his glass takeover and now you're probably thinking like oh my god this is game <laughs> so fortunately kitchen gets the gets the steal right there that's that was big time so again boom pick and roll big fakes the help and fortunately kitchen makes that honestly what it comes down to is when playing with me a guard the guard just needs to be able to shoot because i'm going to be able to get them open my my problem is um, and you see again, so I jump out again. I, I really don't want those guys to crash and fortunately like they don't right there as much, but um, Again, I'm just trying to reset when when that when that type of stuff happens So now we get the switch, but oh there you go Big man didn't want to switch out because he's, he's seen how it's exposing him every every time so Kitchen was just wide open on that one. Honestly, what I love is me and kitchen have gone over this like constantly we talk um, I would say this is definitely my pick and roll like duo kitchen just in general is my duo this year and was for like the late portion of last year too um, and I love how much IQ this dude has and like just how uh, on the same page we are with it so nice step up right there by cook from the corner um, guard was very committed to shooting now pay attention to how much fast break we get on this bro so there's one there's one bucket of, of fast break to end this game um, 
So boom, guard chucks up another shot. Dude's got his glass take over, and I still get it. Boom, there's two for the fast break scores. Now, now we just completely turn the tables on these dudes. Um, he got his glass take over there, thinking like, "Oh, bro, I'ma just chuck. <laughs> you, you got every board here. We, we'll be good." Um, so you see, Cook is gonna jump out again, get another beautiful contest, and I still get another rebound. Boom, fast break. It's beautiful. It's a, such a beautiful thing, bro. When you see a good rotation from the corner to contest a shot because your point guard is a crackhead who doesn't who doesn't have any passing IQ, <laughs> and then. Um, so again, jump out, to, jumps out again. Again, though, I really dislike the corner crash if you're not a tall player. Now, if you got a 6'9 dude who's like guarding the corner, I definitely understand that. That's a great move to do because it'll secure you a board pretty often. And, and if you have like great rebounding ability, um, so you see they switch it again, boom, we run this. Now I get blocked on this. That's so unfortunate. Like, <laughs> you know how rare that happens, bro? I've probably been blocked like five times total in this game already, like this year. Um, so yeah, I just I just kind of wanted to to point out the the things that could also happen like negatively if you if you run this. So boom, they got like four seconds. Big has to step out. I, I already knew that was gonna happen, but bro, I missed the layup over the guard with my takeover on. That's what I'm talking about. Takeover in this game is just not it's not as dominant as it should be. Uh, but I don't know. I'm happy with it. I'm happy. With it. Don't don't quote me on that saying like <laughs> that. I encourage the BS. Now, bro, I don't know what dude is shooting right here. Boom, another fast break. And that's game. So at the end of the day, bro, all I can say is Kitchen's build dominates anything corresponding because you can have as much of an offensive build as you want. But the fact of the matter is when, when I make it so you have to guard Kitchen, it's just like, bro, I'm going to put it like this. When, when, I, when there's a way that Kitchen can match up with the other team's point guard and the other team's point guard is like an offensive threat and Kitchen has his 3 and D point guard, um... Go go check out his channel too to check out uh, his build. I'm I'm gonna highly encourage him to to get a video out on that just so all you guys can see it. But um, yeah, I mean look at their point guard, bro. Two for twelve, two of nine from three. That uh, Rose Rose had like a lot of boards obviously because I was jumping out for the most part too. But um, <laughs> Cook with a nice donut <laughs> donut stat line, um, <laughs> straight donut. Uh, anyway, that's off the vid. I hope y'all enjoyed. If you did, feel free to drop a like. Sub if you're new, all that good stuff. Um, again, I want to encourage the noties for anybody who's already subbed to me. Um, feel free to if you uh, j if that just passed your mind, slipped your mind at all. Um, but anyway, that's all for the vid. Hope y'all enjoyed. Drop a like if you enjoyed as well. And on that, hope y'all. I already said hope y'all enjoyed. Take it easy, man. Peace. <laughs>